The subtitle of the book, Intelligent Governance, is middle way between West and East. Uh, we use China and the U.S. Uh, not as uh, we examine both side, both systems. The Chinese, uh, we call it modern Mandarin egg, the rule of uh, more or less meritocratic elites in the Communist Party, autocratic system, to the U.S., which is rooted in popular sovereignty and electoral democracy. Um, we use them not uh, as literal alternatives, but as metaphors for the trade-offs between good governance uh, on each side. Now, uh, what the U.S. needs to do, uh, again, we've gone, we had an election and we're facing gridlock. Uh, our argument is because uh, democratic publics are very difficult to reform, they're very messy, they lack consensus building institutions, they need to tighten up. China is too much authority, not enough participation, not enough accountability, not enough transparency, too much corruption, it needs to lighten up on its people. So China needs to lighten up, the U.S. needs to tighten up. And let me say something uh, perhaps controversial uh, about the two. We both are seeing new regimes in power in the United States. Obama's been reelected, but in China we have a, a new, new uh, regime coming into power next week. <clears throat> in a funny way, China has been able to uh, uh, correct a little better than the U.S. in this circumstance. After the U.S. election, as we've been discussing, we have gridlock again. Nothing's really changed. We still have the left and the right, and the public is mobilized against each other and divided with lack of consensus. What kind of government should we have? How much government should we have? Uh, how do we fit in the global economy? The U.S. is still undecided. China has had a rather brutal process over the past several months of, in effect, purging the left. Bo Zhilai, the uh, populist uh, governor of, of, um, of Chongqing, uh, and now uh, Wen Jiabao, the liberal pro-market prime minister of the current government that's leaving, has been exposed for widespread corruption in his family. What's happening is, in essence, the liberals and the left in China have uh, been put down and a new consensus is formed down the center. So to put it provocatively, one could even argue that the Chinese system, as brutal as this process has been, is a consensus forming process that has brought power back to the center while the West is still mired in gridlock even after a big election.